Hey everyone, <clears throat> thank you for tuning in and welcome to the fourth episode of Vlogmas 2022. <clears throat> it's Sunday, it's the fourth advent and I uh, guess what I wanna do now, I wanna bake again. So this time I wanna bake um, macaroons, almonds macaroon. And uh, yes, I show you how I do it. And then I planned to um, have a very cozy evening because um, today there is this um, final in a championship, soccer championship, and I want to watch it. Um, France against uh, Argentina. Yes, and I am for France. All right. Um, so so we have here <coughs> one hundred fifty gram sugar. These are the um, white part of the eggs, three times, so three eggs. Then um, we need a bit cinnamon. These are the almonds, the round almonds, and uh, the wafers. All right, and I start with sugar and uh, the white part of the eggs. Now into the oven. One hundred eight degrees Celsius, and uh, just for a few minutes, so ten minutes, perhaps fifteen minutes, and then they are ready. So, and here we have um, some macaroons. This one here are these. Um, Mullet wine cubes with some um, chocolate pieces and my pepper nuts. Um, I still have <laughs> um, three or five pepper nuts left, so I have to do them again. But I'm looking forward to it because I like them a lot. So then my um, marshmallow coffee and here gingerbread, cinnamon stars, chocolate. And now for the right mood. The smokers, don't forget the smokers. Huh? No, yeah. First one. So now a few minutes left and then I watch the final and cross my fingers for France. <laughs> okay, see you then. Until tomorrow. Bye. Hey everybody, <coughs> welcome back. Today is um, Monday, 19th and it's a typical Monday. What means I'm very busy and don't have much time to film something. So uh, just cooking. Um, but tomorrow I perhaps have more time. Tomorrow I'm going to do my second egg punch. Uh, Any time in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. But uh, for today it's just cooking. Yes. So then let's start.
Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today is um, Tuesday the 20th of December and I want to do my egg punch, second one. So um, the first time I uh, bought an egg punch already, um, but I called it just eggnog because um, when you buy an egg punch you actually cannot really drink it. It's not like on Crystal Market, you always have to give an up upgrade. And today I want to do it um, a bit different again. So I bought eggnog, just normal eggnog. Then I have an orange juice. I have um, already prepared some peaches, uh, pieces of peaches. And I also have its juice. And then it comes to the spices. Okay, the two bags vanilla sugar. It's more spicy, but a vanilla sugar. I also add um, cinnamon powder, but also uh, sticks. And then um, I have this cloves, but not as pieces, but also as powder. And um, yes, I think half of it, half of this bag would be enough. So it's um, also different. This um, is a kind of experiment, it's new. Yes, and I would say, just let do it. So, I just wanted to mention, I forgot a very important ingredient of my experiment, sour cream. But this is also me. Sometimes I, for, I forget uh, the eggs for baking a cake. No eggs. <laughs> yes. So this is our sour cream. So the sour cream I um, add to get um, the consistency of this punch a bit more creamy. So this is now the egg punch. And now for the topping. This time I bought whipped cream. Yeah, so we stay with the normal. I also have it in chocolate. So let's see. Et voilà, egg punch number two for the season. Okay, see you tomorrow. So hey everybody, welcome back. Today is Wednesday, the 21st of December. And it's the first day I am holidays. So I have first day off from work and um, I mean, I also have my other jobs to do, but um, today I finally found time for myself. So I started to clean up my apartment. The kitchen looked like a battlefield. <laughs> but um, yes, I also found time to uh, paint. And guess it? This is not an acrylic painting, it's a watercolor painting. So um, some weeks ago, well, not some weeks ago, some months ago, I ordered uh, watercolor paints and tubes. So usually I use um, watercolors 
in um, pants. Um, but um, yes, while watching YouTube um, videos by other artists, I um, yes had the impression that uh, the colors from these tubes are more intense. That's why I wanted to um, yes just to test it, and um, yes, I was right. So um, I um, oh, so by the way, the brand is White Nights. It's a Russian brand. And um, I also have used this white gouache by Schminke. And yes, this is the result. It's uh, just abstract and uh, still wet. Uh, just abstract. I didn't use brushes, but a palette knife this time. And yes, I have chosen these four colors. But I uh, also have to do, um, or still have to do a, a chart for these uh, colors. There are some colors I don't have in the pants, so this uh, chart is not um, as complete or enough. So I have uh, chosen lamp black, that you can see here, it's not very dark. It's not very dark black. But this carmine, for instance, is uh, so, much, um, so much more intense than I have it here. Here is a carmine, the snap uh, pen. I always say nap. <laughs> Okay, and cerulean blue. Cerulean blue was um, also new for me. I don't have it in my old chart. And uh, this one is raw sienna. Raw sienna is this one here. And um, yes, it's, it's so good. I was very impressed and um, yes, also relieved that I spent this money <laughs> on these tubes. And yes, so um, this is what I have done today. Um, and I want to continue painting. Actually, I wanted to uh, continue my oil painting. I have shown you this um, Galaxy Wave. Um, that's the title. It's a, yes, a woman, or even also a mermaid, like Galaxy Mermaid, um, yeah, swimming uh, um, through the universe. But um, no, this morning I said you do a watercolor painting because last time was the last watercolor painting I have done. Uh, that's about more than two years ago. It's a long, long time. And actually, um, I use different media. But um, watercolor was my first medium ever. Then I tried acrylic paints, and then all the other mediums came. But um, yes, so. Right. Now I show you some close ups from the painting, and then we see us tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday the 22nd. Yes, the countdown for Christmas started already. I'm happy. Today I'm happy I have, I have my first day off. I already have done um, some other work today for this website, for, for this hotel, for instance, but um, this is not much. Um, I don't have to go to work. I mean, I can always do these jobs here from home. This is very, very good. Alright, so now I'll show you some close-ups. So now some close-ups. So I started with the cerulean blue and uh, I just use um, um, a palette knife. One of these plastic, I think this one was it, palette knives. Um, so I've, I started with cerulean blue. Then I applied this uh, gouache in white. Then I mixed um, carmine with this white gouache, but look how still intense it is. So intense. And then, um, yes, I applied the black. Uh, white gouache again. Then came raw sienna. And then um, I always have my um, little spray bottle with water. So I make uh, made the whole surface wet, very wet. And um, moved the painting like this and let the washes run down. So this is what you see here. And then I also use this one, this little tool here, um, to achieve these um, textures here. There. Yes, it's um, still wet, especially the gouache is still wet. And here this one, these lines, gouache, I um, 
uh, as a result by the edge of the palette knife. So this was actually just an experiment. I also used um, hot pressed watercolor paper. Usually I use um, cold pressed. I actually uh, use cold pressed watercolor and paint uh, wet on wet. So this was just a try. I wanted to see okay how intense are these colors and um, yes. Um, Actually, I don't use this hot pressed watercolor paper. Now, by the way, it's by Fabriano. Hot pressed watercolor paper, and um, yes, but I don't, um, or I never waste um, yeah, materials. So I can also use for some else, or some other things. Oh, yes, and I um, also applied some salt, but this didn't, um, didn't work out. So I think it was uh, still too wet when I applied. Um, the salt on the surface and um, so you have always to find the right um, point or the um, time point uh, when you um, apply the salt so I didn't um, get these textures I actually wanted to have or wanted to get by the salt all right so that's the painting uh, still untitled uh, untitled <laughs> So, um, but yes, yeah, so for the first time after two years of watercolor painting, I mean, I still yes, have to find the right way to come into this painting process, watercolor painting. But yes, it was, it was good today. Okay, see you then, bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Today is... Um, Thursday the 22nd and my HelloFresh box arrived and I'm a bit excited, more excited than usually because um, today I got my Christmas meal. So let's see and open the box. Yeah. So it's again a large box. Usually I get um, size S. This one is size M. Oh. And I got a gift. Aha, roasted garlic and sea salt crisp. Tasty snacks. Okay. Smells like garlic already. Good. This one. Oh. The envelope with the recipe. This is a gnocchi spinach, or spinach, casserole with mushrooms, but I don't cook it for um, casserole. Casserole. Um, I do a one pot meal. So this one. Oh. So here we have um, spicy chicken strips. And carrot slaw with cheese, potato wedges, and tomato dip. This one is um, the meal, the dishes for Christmas. Vegetarian um, chestnut mushroom ragu with um, filled potato dumplings, I think it's dumplings, and um, Red cabbage. Very good. So this one comes. Um, usually we eat um, Christmas um, lunch. Yes, as lunch uh, on the 25th of December. 
but I broadcast this um, video already on 25th of December, so I eat it on the 24th. So um, today, but today I also cook, and I cook gnocchis. Uh, no, gnocchis, not mushrooms. mushrooms that's also a bit so when I see I have mushrooms I or um, any salad that um, yes that I cannot keep fresh so long I um, choose this one okay so I eat today or cook better to say gnocchi spinach the one pot meal with mushrooms So in the back, so we have here the cream cheese, this is cheese, and then come to the nuggies. Oh yeah, here this is for my uh, dumplings, dough for dumplings. One is chicken, I believe. Yes, chicken. Cheese again. Red cabbage. Oh, yeah. I forgot. So, the dessert. Cœur fondant au chocolat. So this little cake and inside it's um, liquid, so I should call it. Mm. Right, and this one, yes, it's, that's it. That's it. Alright. Okay, thank you for watching and see you soon while cooking and then uh, tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. The 23rd of December, so one day left to Christmas, and um, I want to show you something that I have done um, at the beginning of this year already, so in January and February, and it was this one, a simple resin jewelry. So I don't uh, attend to um, sell um, jewelry any times. It was just for fun. It was just a try. It, it's very simple. It's something that you yeah, don't use your brain so much. So it was for relaxation and um, yes, I just want to show you this one. So I now come closer to the desk. <laughs> so this is the piece I uh, could finish. It's a just resin and uh, it's a color. In this case it was um, acrylic ink and also it's glitter I think. Uh, no, no, no glitter, just uh, acrylic ink. And yes, so I had these templates, um, I forgot the brand, but um, yes, I used this one. And um, it's not just resin, you have to um, yes, do a mixture of a resin and a hardener. I used um, the materials are from this brand um, Ultra Cast. And the mixture was uh, two parts resin and one part um, hard enough. So um, um, these pliers here are not for jewelry making. So it's, uh, these are normal pliers, but um, good enough for this uh, simple approach. So it was about to do these uh, connections uh, or con connectors for um, the clasp. 
And yes, this is how it looks like. So very, very simple. Okay, so I um, show you now all the other finished um, resin pieces. So I actually have a box. So, for instance, in uh, this one here, Oh, let's start with the screen one. I mean, for some, there are the holes too small for this leather um, leather cord. For this one, I have um, I bought a smaller one, a thinner cord. It's also a plastic, a colorless plastic cord, and this uh, should fit here through the hole. Okay, so this one, this is with um, ink by Rohr and Klinger. I use ink by Rohr and Klinger. So ink, uh, set green, this one here, put it there, then here these two, also this one, this one is very beautiful, I, I like it that this ink also, um, yes, yeah, so um, I um, created a mixture, I filled the template with um, the ink and this resin mixture. And uh, the ink itself um, yes, um, was flowing, or oh, I, um, I set it down, I set it down, I think. Okay, so this one, see this green one again. So, this um, acrylic ink in green, like this one, also very pretty. I mean, for a first try, it came out right away. So this one here is again with ink, an orange ink, and uh, also glitter. So uh, I also put some glitter, and um, uh, yeah, so this is how it, right, where is it? Is it here? No. Here, okay, so. I have this resin mixture with ink and uh, glitter. So this is a mixture and I fill it all together in this template and this is what comes out. So the glitter itself um, also um, um, settled down. So you have it just on the this side, the top side. But this is um, quite well because you see this side only. Okay, so I have it oh, here, a little puzzle piece. And oops, this is also really nice. But uh, here the hole, where is the hole? Here is no hole. Okay, this one is a hole. <laughs> so this one and this round one again. So one. this one here was also with glitter, and, and here you can really see. So on this side, you have a bit left of this glitter, and uh, on the top. There is uh, the most of this glitter. This was also ink and violet. So and then last one. Yeah, on. So these are the ones um, yes, that turned out not so very well. This one was just the rest of um, this mixture here. So it's actually nothing. But I didn't want to, yeah, just um, didn't want to waste it. So um, I was looking for a template. I don't know what it was. Um, and yes, perhaps I can use it for a little teacup to put it on. All right, so. Here, this one is um, um, acrylic ink in a uh, bronze. This one is, um, but I don't remember. I have to. I also didn't write it any. <laughs> so here we have some stars and ink. Here, this is a silver acrylic ink. Very pretty. 
This is my favorite. This looks almost uh, natural, so some, uh, some um, algae in the ocean perhaps, so, so there's a background shot of the blue, but um, this is I, I like, like very much, it's also acrylic ink. It was just, it wasn't a mixture, so I first, um, yes, um, um, also for, for all these one here, so I first um, filled the template with this resin mixture, and then I um, uh, yes add uh, acrylic ink or ink. In this case, it was that I first um, I put uh, down uh, add these um, stars to this template. Then I filled the template with this resin mixture, and then I add some ink in violet. So green. So this is bronze and I think golden. It's bronze and this is golden, I don't know. So uh, this metal acrylic ink. Also here in silver. This one is also nice. Um, acrylic ink in red. This one is uh, again ink in violet. So here we have just the glitter and uh, pure resin mixture. This glitter in um, yeah, bronze. This one is um, actually white, but it shines bluish and greenish. And then we, here we have silver here. Silver glitter, and golden glitter. This one is also cute. Yeah, like this here. Green. This is uh, just ink, I would say. Like this one too. And, and dark red. And this one is again acrylic ink in yellow. But yes, not a real mixture. So um, first the resin and then I um, add a bit of acrylic ink. I think I use a toothpick. To mix it in this template. Oh, it does. I mean, anyway, I have a video. <laughs> Perhaps I will uh, make a YouTube video of it anytime. But yes, so I have um, this template, all oh, these uh, resin pieces here, jewelry, and then uh, yes, I can show you now how I have done this one here. So here I have this um, leather. A cord. And uh, this leather cord, as I said, is a bit um, thick, so I need um, a piece with a big hole. This is perhaps, yeah, okay. So I don't like it too long, that's enough, so I cut it here. Right, and then I need these connectors. This is for the connectors between um, clasp and this leather cord. I need two of them. Oops. This one is the uh, um, clasp itself. And then I still need... Um, oh, this one here is a round one. For this I already have done. It's what more like this egg. Or oval form. This one here. This one, and then I still need two um, circles. These two. They are 
connected <laughs> to. That's it. I think it's called eyelet. I don't know. Okay, so first comes um, these two little pieces. So I put it on. And then use this um, plier and put pressure on it. Okay, this is that. Then the other side, the same. Same thing. I don't have the right pliers for this. So now I have the connection between leather cord and these um, clasps. Two clasps. Oh, yeah. All right. So then next one. These uh, eyelet eyelets. First, I have to open them. I need two pliers. little hole and then I already take oh, um, the clasp the clasp also has a little hole connected with this eyelet so I close this um, eyelet I hope it's the right word I first <laughs> did I check it so I hold it here it okay so now I have an eyelet and this a clasp and the other side also get an eye an eyelet I first have to open the eyelet To the hole and hold it and close it again. Oops. All right, so then you can close it. That's it. What I also have done here with this one is, you see that this is very unstable. That's why I um, have done a knot. Oops. I also want to do this here now. Because these resin pieces are very, they're very light. So, I don't know how many grams. Five. So, this one is a bit... It's longer, very long compared to the other one. But I'll show you this now when I have it around my neck. So now I have it around my neck, both. So this one is much longer and uh, very light. So it has actually no weight. So I perhaps I should 
add some pearls um, to this leather band that it has a bit more weight or I have to do something else but this is one you know okay so these two pieces are finished and yes um, I mean it was a try okay so but uh, for the first time it um, turned out very well so might be that I still do something with these pieces I mean I don't put them into the trash for this they are too good too good so um, but yes so um, some have um, as I said very small holes because puzzle piece is also cool with its glitter and uh, yes I wanna try out this one this um, um, colorless plastic cord it's a thinner and yes, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you this. And tomorrow is Christmas. Um, I'm heavy. <laughs> and um, yes, so and thank you for watching and uh, see you then tomorrow. So, 24 here. Ooh. So when I compare all the four um, Christmas calendar I have, this one here by Haribo is the best one. Not when it comes to the ingredients, they all are good, but uh, the whole construction of it, of this um, calendar. It's um, very stable, more stable than all the other one, and um, but it's also easy to open the door with one hand. So, and the others, uh, not so good. Okay, so this is the first one. Some gummy bears, roulette. So now... This one by Weber here. Oh, two, two time chocolate. So and then this third one. Here. one. Better to see by um, Haloren, but here I again need both so hands. And this one is 24. Looks like Rudolf. No red nose reindeer. <laughs> yes, and now the fourth one by Lind. So it's a bit dark, but um, it's easy to find. So this is my haul for today, last day, and yes, so see you in a minute. Hey everybody, welcome to the finish of this Vlogmas series 2022. You see me here sitting next to my Christmas tree, it's the 24th of December. And I wish you and your family and your friends a very, very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and uh, just a good time and a good meal and, uh, yes, good gifts. And uh, yes, I don't wish you any fights with family members or friends. It uh, should be a quiet uh, time now and it's uh, just positive and come together again and, um, yes, um, and I want to thank you for watching all my videos and um, today I still show you how I cook my Christmas meal. It's, uh, it's a bit early, usually I cook um, the 25th of December but um, yes, tomorrow I broadcast this video. That's why today Christmas meal and um, yes, I can just repeat thank you for watching and um, 
I would wish to see you again next year, Vlogmas 2023. I mean, it's very time consuming, this vlogging in general. Uh, that's why. And um, also, with respect to the next year, when I want to, um, yes, increase this, um, the amount of vlog videos, so this vlogging I want to, um, yes, increase and uh, just um, show more of myself and. Yes, I think I can deal with it quite well. This, uh, but it is time consuming, and um, yes, I always have to think: of what do I show them? What do I not show them? Um, but yes, it was um, fun sometimes. Sometimes it was also today. I don't wanna um, show something for myself. But um, all right. So um, four weeks of um, yes videos clips about me and what I have done. I hope you liked it. I hope it wasn't too boring, and I hope for better weather next year. It was snowing or it was icing, really icing, you can say. Now it's raining, uh, <laughs> so um, yes, I hope for better better weather and um, yes, that I can go more outdoors or show more outdoor things with you, for you. Uh, yeah, so again, Merry Christmas, happy time and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.